<laughs> sure, hero. Let's play fetch. <laughs> I brought some snacks. Yummy. <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, again? Fetch! For our... Hero? Uh oh, something's up. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Where's your ball? That's Hero's ball? It looks. Ew! And smells a little different. That's not his ball. I sent you a photo of it, Katie. See if you can find out more about this stinky ball. I'm already on it. Just as I suspected, the ball is actually a dung ball. A dung ball? Dung balls are made by dung beetles. These beetles gather dung by rolling it into a ball so they can roll the balls back to their nests. What? Why would they do that? Well, the dung balls they make are either used by female dung beetles to lay eggs in or as food. Food? Yuck! Well, dung is important to dung beetles. But not all dung beetles make dung balls. There are three different types of dung beetles. Rollers, tunnelers, and twirlers. Rollers roll dung into a ball, while tunnelers bury their dung by digging underneath it. Dwellers live in the dung itself. So this belongs to a roller dung beetle. It probably mistook Hero's ball for its dung ball and rolled it away. It's okay, Hero. We'll get you a new one. <laughs> you just want your old ball back, huh? I guess there's no other way. We have to help Hero get his ball back. I think he smells something. Yeah, the smell of dung everywhere. Hey, that's my fertilizer you guys are using. Don't worry, Farah. We'll get more for you later. I guess the smell is a little too overwhelming for Hero. It's okay, Hero. We'll come up with another way to find your ball. But how? There are so many beetles. How will we ever find Hero's ball? It looks like it's time for a good old-fashioned search party. Let's split up. Hero and I will look over there. And Farah and I will look over there. All right, Rangers, let's find Hero's ball. You're not gonna try to go over that, are you? Silly beetle, you can go around it, you know. But here, let me help you. If you walk around but first, you'll just keep bumping into things. Do you even know where you're going? They do know. Huh? Dung beetles are actually very good at navigation. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers! Dung beetles have a special way of navigation. It's okay if they walk butt first. They don't need to look around at things on the ground because they do not navigate using landmarks. Instead, they navigate using the sun during the day. And at night, they use the stars in the sky, just like sailors used to do in the past. Hmm. Aha! I have to go that way. See you around, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. No. Nope. Just a dung ball. <gasps> a star? That's it. Hero, over there. That's not your ball, little friend. It's Heroes. Can we have it back, please? Oh no, the ball. <gasps> not the beetle, too. Hero, it's headed right for that cliff. Jetpack, activate. We've got to do something. Coming through. Here, Junior Rangers to the rescue! Ugh. It's not.
not working. I'll get the beetle. Right behind you. Huh? <gasps> Leo! It's going over the cliff! <sighs> Got it! Huh? It was just a really short drop. <laughs> <laughs> Great catch, Farah. Thanks, guys. Thank you for taking the express route, little beetle. You've reached your destination. Please exit on the left. Don't worry, we're not going to let you leave empty-handed. Here's a dumb ball. Now the dung beetle has its dung ball, and Hero found his ball. Good job, Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, we better get that ball cleaned up. Mission accomplished. Katie, where are you? Katie! Where are you hiding? Wow, Hero, Katie's really good at hiding. Hmm, maybe there's a way we can hear where she is. <coughs> it's coming from the treehouse. This is cheating, Leo. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do it again. Go hide somewhere else. Fine, but no cheating this time. Leo, are you cheating again? No, that's my watch beeping. Someone's calling me. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What's up? Hey, Leo. I need some advice about Parker, my pet spider. He's been looking a little down and hasn't been very active lately. Here, I took a photo of him. Whoa, that's a cool spider, Kyle. Hmm, do you think maybe Parker misses his home in the wild? Yeah, that's it. I should release him back into the wild where he truly belongs. Good idea. That should cheer him up. Thanks, Chief. Ranger out. Ranger out. A spider? What kind? Can you send Parker's photo to the computer? I'd like to find out what type of spider he is. Sure, I'll send the photo. Did you find anything about Parker? It seems Parker is a red-backed spider. Oh, I've never heard of that species. Male redbacks are light brown with white markings, but female redbacks have a black body with a red stripe on its back, which means... Parker is actually a girl! That's right! It also says here that redbacks are highly venomous. That means that their bites can cause serious harm to us. However, only the female's bite is dangerous. Oh no! Since Parker has a dangerous bite, we have to warn Kyle to be careful when releasing her. He should only do it somewhere far away from anyone. I better call Kyle to tell him. He's not picking up. We can track his locator to find him and tell him ourselves. Sounds like a plan, Katie. Let's go warn Kyle about his pet spider. And most of all, we'll miss our late night chats. You're such a good listener. <laughs> oh, hey there, hero. You're just in time to say goodbye to Parker. Kyle, stop! Parker is a venomous red-backed spider. You can't just release her anywhere. What? So I've had a venomous pet spider all this time? That's so cool. Wait a second. What do you mean, her? Parker is a girl. You're venomous and a girl? There's just so much I don't know about you. Parker's bite is dangerous, Kyle. We need to make sure she's released in a secluded area. Sweet spot. Parker's gonna love it here. But to be safe, let's make sure there's nobody around. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing in this neck of the woods? We're looking for a safe spot to release Parker, Kyle's pet spider. She's a super cool, venomous redback. Well, if she's a redback, I know just the place to set her free. Although redbacks can be found near or inside people's homes, they are also found in drier habitats like the desert. Deserts are deserted. Few people would go there. That's right. And the Simpson Desert is as deserted as they get. Did you hear that, Parker? We found you a new home. <laughs> oh no, Parker has escaped. She's not in her jar. Don't worry, Kyle. Parker could not have gone very far. Let's spread out to look for her. 
Great idea, Leo. But remember to be extra careful, Junior Rangers. Parker, where are you? Huh? <laughs> what are you barking at, Hero? Is there something on my boomerang? <laughs> Can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly me. There's nothing on it, Hero. Uh-oh. Ranger Rocky, I'm gonna need you to stand perfectly still. Why is that, Leo? Parker's on your hat. I'm gonna try to catch her. Almost. Ah, she jumped off. Where did she go? I don't see her anywhere. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. We'll just have to broaden our search. Hero can help with that. Great idea, guys. Now let's see if we can find her. What's going on? We can't see anything. Hmm, it seems like there's something covering the camera. We'll have to remove it. Hero, can you fly it back to us? Look, guys, it's Parker. Parker's the one covering the camera. Change of plans, Hero. Fly it towards Parker's jar. Ready now? Welcome back, Parker. Yay! We found her! I'll miss watching the sunset with you beside me, but I know that you'll enjoy those beautiful sunsets more in your new home out in the wild. Goodbyes are hard. We're ready now, Ranger Rocky. Be free, Parker. Parker. It's the right thing to do, Kyle. She'll be happier in the wild. Goodbye, my dear friend. Mission accomplished. What am I? Easy. A chicken. Next. A tiger. Arf, arf, arf. Uh, uh, a mouse? Huh? A hero? Time's up! It's a dog! A dog! Oh, how could I have missed that? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. I'm compiling a list for my Junior Ranger Handbook, and I need your help. Sure thing, Farah. What's the list about? Have you heard of the Mimic Octopus? A Mimic Octopus? Here's a photo of it. It looks like an ordinary octopus. But it can disguise itself to look like another animal. It's really tricky to spot, and I need your help to find it. You can count on us. We'll be right over. Excellent. See you guys soon. Ranger out. The Mimic Octopus. The Mimic Octopus can be found in shallow, murky waters of the Indo-Pacific region. In its original form, it is light brown in color. But the Mimic Octopus is a master of disguise. It can change its appearance and behavior to look like other animals. Wow, I hope we get to see its transformations. Only if we find the octopus first. Bara to Leo, over. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Awesome. Once you find the Mimic Octopus, tell me everything it mimics. I'll write it down in my handbook. You got it, Farah. Now remember, the Mimic Octopus can be anything, so keep your eyes wide open. Don't worry, I won't be fooled. Aha! I bet this is a Mimic Octopus disguised as a... Uh... An anemone? <gasps> that was fast! Anemone. Anemones are marine creatures that look like flowers and are related to corals. That's not a mimic octopus, Leo. It's a real anemone. Oops, <laughs> you're right, Katie. Sorry, Farah, false alarm. That was not a mimic octopus disguised as an anemone. It's not? Okay, no anemone then. Let's look somewhere else. The mimic octopus could be anything. Hmm, I wonder. What are you doing, Katie? Done. I just installed the scanner from my computer. 
We can identify animals and plants now. Huh? It says here that the coral is human. Is there something wrong with the program? Hello, Junior Ranger. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky? Rocky? <laughs> what are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was practicing my mimicry by pretending to be a coral. What are you rangers doing here? We're trying to find out what creatures the mimic octopus mimics. Ah, the master of disguise. While the mimic octopus is not venomous, it is able to mimic other creatures that are venomous. By doing that, the octopus tricks others into thinking it's venomous and protects itself from danger. So... We should look out for venomous creatures. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Ranger Rocky? Where did he go? His mimicry worked. But now we have a mimic octopus to find. <laughs> What's that, Hero? <laughs> it's on the move again. Now it's mimicking a jellyfish. Jelly. Now it's a, oh, a bandit soul. A uh, banded soul? It's a stingray. Banded soul. Stingray. Soul. Band ray. Jellyfish. Sting jelly. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, what is it? Turkey. A turkey. What? I think it's a turkey. Turkeys don't live in the ocean, Leo. A special underwater turkey? Huh? Now it's walking. <laughs> what about a duck? Ducks don't live in the ocean either. I agree. That's obviously not a duck. Farah, you're here. I had to see this for myself. Besides, my handbook was getting very messy. Oops, sorry. I still think it's a turkey. Nah, it looks like an underwater mushroom to me. Oh, oh, fried chicken. How about some algae? An underwater furball? It's obviously a, wait. Where did the octopus go? It's disguised itself again. Could it be that rock? I'll use my scanner. That's a rock. That's a rock too. Still rock. Or that seaweed? The ocean floor? It could be anything. Hey, Leo. What are you looking at? Here, Katie. Want to have a look? Thanks, Leo. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. How's it going? Hi, Leo. I was camping on Christmas Island, and the strangest thing happened. Millions of crabs appeared out of nowhere. Millions of crabs? What are they doing? I have no idea. That's why I'm calling, Leo. It looks like they're headed somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. Here, let me send you a picture. Wow. wow. That's a lot of crabs. I can run the photo through my computer to look for more information. Sounds great, Katie. I'll get back to you once we find out more about the crabs, Kyle. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out what the crabs on Christmas Island are up to. There it is. It seems those crabs are called the Christmas Island Red Crabs. The Christmas Island Red Crabs? That's right. Based on Kyle's observations, they must be migrating. The red crabs live mainly in the forest, but every year, when the rainy season begins, millions of them migrate to the beach to make babies. Before heading home, the female crabs place their eggs in the sea where they will hatch. Cool. Let me tell Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Leo. Did you find anything? Those are Christmas Island red crabs. They're migrating to the beach to make babies. Hmm, but some of them are going in different directions. What if they get lost? And what if they have to cross the road to get to the beach? <gasps> what if they get hurt? That'd be awful, Kyle. We'll come over to see how we can help guide the crabs safely to the beach. Wow, I've never seen so many crabs in one place. Hey guys, glad you can make it. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Hero is already making sure the crabs move in the right direction. Good job, Hero. What else can we do? I'll just get off right here. 
Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. There are plenty of things you can do to ensure the crabs get to the beach safely and comfortably. It's important to provide the crabs with water to keep their bodies moist as they travel over the land. This prevents them from becoming dry as they're exposed to the sun's glare. We can help with that. And I know just how we can get some water on them. Jetpack, activate. Good thinking, Leo. I'll help you turn the water on. Ready when you are. Ready. They're definitely enjoying it. Here you go, crabs. Plenty of water to keep your bodies wet. Let's see what else we can help them with. Look, the crabs have to cross the road to get to the beach. Isn't that dangerous? Not to worry, Kyle. There's an underpass specially constructed to provide the crabs with a safe passage to the beach. Barricades have also been placed to direct the crabs towards the underpass. <gasps> but there's a hole in the barricade! Oh no! Some of the crabs got through the hole! They're headed straight for the road! I'll fix this, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Then we'd better get those crabs back to safety! Carefully! There you go! Just grab onto my boomerang! Okay! You can let go now. Is that all of them? Uh-oh, not quite. <gasps> we have to save that crab. We can use the jetpack, but we don't have to be the ones actually flying it. What do you mean, Katie? Put the jetpack on the ground and aim it towards the crab. I'll configure the jetpack controls from my tablet. That way, the jetpack can be activated without putting any of us in danger. Brilliant thinking, Katie. This should do it. And activate. Amazing. You did it, Katie. Good job, Junior Rangers. That was some quick thinking. The barrier has been fixed. No crabs will get onto the road now. Yay! Phew. That's great to hear, Ranger Rocky. Let's go, guys. I can hear the waves crashing. Here we are. The crabs have arrived safely. Wow, there's so many of them. From here on, they'll dig burrows and start making babies. In a month's time, the baby crabs will make their way from the sea to their new home. It will be a sight just as magnificent as this. I'm gonna come back so I can watch the baby crabs migrate. Us too. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to guide the Christmas Island red crabs safely to the beach. Do you see her, Leo? No. I hope Farah's okay. Me too. She wanted us to come right away. Did you hear something? <gasps> ah! Ah! Leo, Katie, thank goodness you're here. Fara. Fara. Ugh, seaweed. Where's my handbook? Ah, here it is. We got your message about an intense fight underwater. Are you okay? What happened? I'm okay, but it's chaotic down there. They're still fighting. Let's go stop them. No, it's too dangerous. I barely escaped. Who or what is having that fight? Is it a shark? A giant squid? A shark fighting a giant squid? It's worse. I can't even bring myself to tell you what they are. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out exactly what we're dealing with from a safe distance. Hero, can we use your camera? Good idea, Leo. I'll help control it with my tablet. Okay, now let's see what we've got. 
I don't see anything. Just a little to the left? Hmm, try going to the right instead. There, there they are! What? Where? Go closer! Going closer. Huh? Shrimps? shrimps? Angry, fighting shrimps. That's it. I thought they'd be bigger. What exactly are they? Let's find out. These are no ordinary shrimps. Peacock mantis shrimps are a type of crustacean. That means they have hard outer shells. Are they dangerous? Far is right. They may be small, but mantis shrimps can be aggressive. They're armed with special weapons of their own. There are two types of mantis shrimps, the smashers and the spearers. Smashers have front claws that are tipped with something that looks like a hammer. These shrimps pack a punch. They use their hammer-like claws to smash things. Spearers have sharp points at the end of their claws, like a little spear. They use that to poke things. Are peacock mantis shrimps smashers or spearers? Oh no, they're at it again. Whoa, that was fast. But if we slow the footage down, we can see that peacock mantis shrimps are... Smashers! No, no, no! According to my handbook, chapter four, page two, animals shouldn't be smashing each other! Don't worry, Farah. We'll break up the fight. <gasps> oh no! The camera! <laughs> it's okay, Hero. I'll get it back for you. Ugh, I can't see a thing. The camera is not responding. Let's turn Platypus 1 into a giant mantis shrimp. When those tiny mantis shrimps see how big it is, they'll be so scared that they'll forget all about their fight. Are you sure you want to do that? What if the mantis shrimp breaks something? Don't worry, Farah. I think Platypus 1 can take on a couple of shrimpy shrimps. Okay, guys, let's turn Platypus 1 into an unbeatable mantis shrimp monster. Ready, Farah? Yeah! Now! Roar! 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 It's working! We got their attention! Good job, Farah! I'm bringing us closer. Roger that, Leo! Roar, shrimps! Break it up! Break it up! Huh? huh? Why are they swimming towards us? as a team now. That's right. Go home. No more violence for you two. Yes, we got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together. That's great for them, but not for us. Look! Uh-oh. Time to get out of here. Hang on tight, Farah. <sighs> we made it out alive. I'll never underestimate shrimps again. Are you okay back there, Farah? Rawr! Rawr! Oops, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you also love jumping in puddles when it rains, Hero? <laughs> Let's see who can make the biggest splash. It's a frog. This frog sounds like a duck. And it has lines on its back. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Mr. Frog. Hi, Katie. Are you there? Hi, Leo. What an interesting looking frog. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. 
Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. The frog you found is a common tree frog, but it's also known as a four-lined tree frog because some of these frogs have four long lines running down their backs, just like this one. The common tree frog lives in trees and spends most of its life hopping from branch to branch high in the treetops. I see. But how is the frog able to stay up in trees? The common tree frog has special sticky toes that help it hang onto branches and tree trunks. Like all frogs, common tree frogs are amphibians. Amphibians are animals that can live in water and on land. Common tree frogs spend the beginning of their lives in the water as tadpoles. Tadpoles are newborn baby frogs that hatch from eggs. When tadpoles grow into adults, they leave the water and live in trees. I see. So what kind of food do common tree frogs eat? They eat insects and worms. They can be found in all kinds of places with water and trees in different countries in Southeast Asia. Hmm. I think we should return the tree frog to its natural home, where it can find a lot more trees and food. Come and join us. Ranger Rocky! Ah, I see you've brought along a lively little friend with you today. What's it doing, Ranger Rocky? It's so noisy. Now that it's rainy season, the frog must be looking for a mate. Common tree frogs usually breed during the rainy season. The one you found must be a male frog. Male frogs gather around still water and wait on the leaves of plants. As they do this, they call out to the females to attract them. Once the male finds a mate, the frogs breed, and the female lays her eggs above the water. The eggs are laid in special foam nests, hung on leaves or twigs. During heavy rain, the tadpoles that hatch from the eggs are washed down into the water. That puddle looks too small for the frog to find a mate. If you want to find a better breeding ground for this tree frog, keep a lookout for a grassy place near still water. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Wait, is the frog still on my hat, Katie? Oh, no. He's missing again. He must be somewhere around here. Hmm. We can't find the frog with so much litter around. We should clean up the place first. Good idea, Katie. I bet the mud skippers will be happy too if the litter is gone. Let's clean up the place and look for the tree frog together. Look, guys. You found the tree frog and we've cleared away the litter. Great work, everyone. To find the tree frog's breeding ground, you have to look for leaves near a stream. Good luck! <coughs> Is that the tree frog's breeding ground? The leaves are near the stream. This seems like a good place. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Wow! There are so many of them! We did it! We found the tree frog's breeding ground! Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a common tree frog in our garden. We learned that common tree frogs live in trees and that male common tree frogs gather around still water where they use their loud calls to attract females. So we went to the forest and found it a nice spot near a stream. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. What's up? Hi, Leo. You won't believe what I just found on the beach. An enormous crab leg. It's way longer than me. Here, I took a photo of it. 
Whoa! An enormous crab leg? What's it doing on the beach? Hmm. I can run the photo through the computer to look for more information. There it is. It seems the giant crab leg belongs to the Japanese spider crab. The Japanese spider crab is one of the world's largest crab. Its body is about the size of a basketball, and it has the longest legs out of all the other crabs. From claw to claw, it can measure over three meters. That's about two of you, Leo. Whoa! It also says here that Japanese spider crabs can live up to 100 years. Wow, that's amazing. Did you hear that, Kai? The leg you found belongs to a Japanese spider crab. Spider? Oh, I hope it doesn't look like one. I don't like creepy crawlies too much. I hope the crab is all right. Me too, Katie. We should find it and make sure it's okay. It would be shellfish of us to ignore the situation. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come over to look for the crab. Okay, see you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Thanks for coming, guys. That's the longest leg I've ever seen. Where did you find it, Kai? Right there by the rock. Whoa! Careful, Kai. Huh? What's that? <gasps> Leo? What are you doing over there? Are you okay, Leo? <laughs> I'm all right. Oops, did I hit you with a leg? Sorry, I wasn't looking. No worries, Kai, but you need to be careful with that. It says here that Japanese spider crabs live on the ocean floor in deep waters. Hmm, the leg must have washed ashore. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get into our scuba gear and dive underwater to look for it. Japanese spider crab, where are you? We have your leg. I don't think that's going to work, Kai. Then how are we going to find it? Uh, guys? <gasps> I think it found us. It's huge. Look, it's missing a leg. This must be the crab we're looking for. Hmm, I wonder if we can put its leg back. Don't worry, Spider Crab. We're just trying to put your leg back on. That way, you'll have all your legs again. Are you sure that's how crabs work, Leo? It's a perfect fit. That doesn't look very perfect to me. But the crab can't go around with a missing leg. Hmm. If only we could make it a new one. <gasps> Good idea, Katie. We can do that. I can't believe I didn't think of it earlier. We can make an entirely new crab leg. We can make it even stronger than the current leg. <gasps> we can help the crab move faster. We can have it shoot lasers. It's going to be awesome. Let's go. Cool beans. We did it! The new mechanical crab leg is good to go! Great job, Rangers! I can't wait for the crab to try it on! Let's go! <laughs> wow! <gasps> Leo, where did he go? <sighs> Not again. Don't worry, we made you a new leg this time. It's a perfect fit! Maybe we should stop using the word perfect all the time. I don't get it. Why didn't it work? What did we do wrong? What if we get something to tie the leg to the crab? Let's look for something we can use. Probably not seaweed. Ah! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. <laughs> Sorry to scare you, Leo. What are you guys doing in the depths of the ocean? We found a Japanese spider crab with a missing leg. So we made it a brand new mechanical one, but it doesn't fit. Wow, that's an amazing invention. Great work, Junior Rangers. But there's no need to worry. It's common for Japanese spider crabs to lose their long legs. Fortunately, they can survive without a leg or two, or even three. 
Like other crabs, when the Japanese spider crab grows too big for its shell, they lose it to make way for a new shell to grow. This is known as molting. Japanese spider crabs sometimes grow new legs when they molt. So, the crab will do just fine without the mechanical leg. Phew, I'm glad it's going to be all right after all. Be careful, hero. We don't want the crab to lose any more legs. <laughs> I think he likes hero. Hmm. Uh, can I keep the mechanical leg, Kai? I have an idea. Of course, Katie. It'd be shellfish of me to keep it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> keep at it, guys. We're almost done. <gasps> guys, come check this out. Ooh, what is it? Let's find out. I've just sent this photo to you, Katie. Got it. Now let's see. Oh, it's a Brazilian yellow scorpion. Like spiders, scorpions are part of the arachnid group. Arachnids tend to have two body segments, eight legs, and no wings or antennae. The Brazilian yellow scorpion has pale yellow legs. Watch out for their stings. They can cause serious harm. Scorpions have a venomous stinger at the end of their tails. They use them to protect themselves and catch food. Scorpions are carnivorous and eat insects such as cockroaches. Hmm, it's not safe to leave the scorpion here. We need to move it to a deserted area, somewhere far away from everyone. Good idea, Leo. Let me help. Hey, oh no! The scorpion is venomous, remember? It's too dangerous to pick it up with your bare hands. Done! Nice trap, Leo. Thanks, Peo. Now all we need is bait. Hmm, what can we use? <laughs> I've got just the thing. A tasty snack for the scorpion. Is that a real cockroach? Nah, it's just a toy. I also have a rubber gecko and a rubber snake in my bag. Do you guys want to see? Maybe later, Peo. We better get the scorpion down first. Okie dokie. Here. Perfect. I hope this works. Come and get your snack, little scorpion. Come on. That's it. Just a bit more. Gotcha. Yay! <laughs> now we just have to find a jar to put it in. Katie, Hero, and I will go look for one. Peo, can you and Pico stay here to keep an eye on the scorpion? Make sure it doesn't escape. You can count on us, Leo. Awesome. We'll be back soon. Take your time. Hot, two, three, four. Hot, two, three, four. Hot, two, three. Hmm. It's awfully quiet. Hello? Are you still in there? Do you need some air? Hello, Junior Ranger. Ranger Rocky! What are you doing here? I'm looking for a scorpion. I saw one at the campsite earlier and I tried to catch it, but the sneaky fella got away. I've been trying to find it all day long. Oh, you mean this one? Huh? Wait a second, where is the yellow scorpion? We trapped it! But I don't see anything, Peo. That's strange. Where did it go? Ah! Ah! Oh no! Ranger Rocky! So, there you are, little fella. I finally got you. Are you okay? It stung you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I shouldn't have lifted the basket. You're hurt and it's all my fault. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What's going on? Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, perfect. Can I have that jar, Leo? Sure, Ranger Rocky. But what's going on? <gasps> the scorpion! Yeah, it stung Ranger Rocky on the leg. It happened so fast, before I knew it, it was up his leg and it stung him! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Ranger Rocky! Ugh, stop panicking, Peyo! You need to fix this! It's all right, Peyo. It's all good. But Ranger Rocky, that's a... Brazilian yellow scorpion, I know. Most scorpion stings are painful, but not fatal. 
However, the Brazilian yellow scorpion is regarded as the most dangerous scorpion in South America, as their venom is extremely toxic. It's especially dangerous to young children. We have to relocate the scorpion. I'll take over from here. No, Ranger Rocky, leave it to us. I promise you, we'll be very careful. You need to go to the hospital. Well, all right then. Ranger Rocky to headquarters, requesting helicopter evacuation, pronto. <laughs> Just have to mix them. Just a little more. Hey, oh, what are you doing? I'm making a paste with some medicinal herbs from my bag. It'll help with Ranger Rocky's sting. Done! Here, Ranger Rocky. This will ease the pain. Thanks, Peo. And don't worry, I'll be fine. Ah, just in time. Please be very careful, Junior Rangers. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Take care. I'm really sorry. Don't feel too bad, Peo. He's Ranger Rocky. He'll be fine. Now, we need to get this scorpion away from here. Let's do this, Rangers. <laughs> can you hold this for me, Peo? Of course, Leo. You can count on me. This time for sure. All right, let's go. This place seems deserted. There are no tents around. It should be safe to release the scorpion here, but we have to be very careful. Just leave it to me. Can I have the jar, Peo? Here you go. Jetpack, activate. Please be careful, Leo. Don't get too close to the scorpion. Got it. Be free, little one. Yay! <laughs> we did it. You can do this, Peo. Just a little more. Whoa! Phew. Got it! Now to get down from here. Hmm. You know, Pico, some of these vines look and feel kind of funny. See? This one almost looks like a... <gasps> snake! And a big one, too! I've got to get down! Ranger Leo speaking. Huh? Pico, is that you? Where's Peo? What's going on, Leo? I'm not sure, Katie. It's Pico. Pico? Wait, do you hear that? It sounds like somebody's talking. Huh? Something's not right. Send me the video, Leo. I'll see if I can isolate the voice and amplify its volume. Sure thing, Katie. And... Done! Pico, tell them that I'm stuck in a tree. And there's a big green snake right in front of me. I can't get down. Uh-oh. If we zoom in and unblur it... <gasps> Peo! Green snake. Hmm, they're not that big. Can we look at the video again? Some of the vines look a little funny. Just have to do a quick scan. <gasps> a green anaconda? Oh no! Peo is stuck in a tree with an anaconda. We've got to get him down quick. We can find out more information about the animal on the way there. Let's see. The green anaconda is the world's largest snake. Anacondas are constrictors. They coil themselves around their prey and squeeze them. With their stretchy jaws, anacondas open their mouths wide to swallow their prey whole. Once they've eaten a big meal, they can go for weeks or months without food. Oh boy, we'd better hurry. Look, it's Peo's bag. Pico! Where's Peo? Is he okay? Over here! I'm over here! Whoa! It's huge! Eep. Don't worry, Peo. We'll get you down. Jetpack activate. activate! Here you go, Peo. Thanks, Leo. 
Now grab hold of us. Oh no! Oh, oh, never mind me. Just take this somewhere safe. We mustn't let anything happen to the flower. Oh no! Don't worry, Peo. I'll get it. And I'll find a way to get you down. We leave no rangers behind. Huh? Oh! Well, that was easy. Where's it going? Oh no! Guys! No! Not the bug! Now we'll never get the flower back! Hang on, Pale. Let's get you down first. Huh? Nico! No! You'll get hurt! <laughs> no, Hero! Hero! The anaconda's way too strong for them. Katie, help me grab its tail. Stop right there. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Back away from the tail. What you're about to do is very dangerous. Tangling with an anaconda is a dangerous thing to do. Anacondas are big and strong, but they usually only attack humans when they feel threatened. If you mess around with its tail, it might see that as a threat. Green anacondas may move slowly on land, but they're great in water. They're fast swimmers, and because their eyes and nostrils are on the top of their heads, they can breathe and see even when most of their body is underwater. What do we do then, Ranger Rocky? We have to get my bag. No worries, Peo. I'll take it from here. Leave this to the experts, children. To do. I have no idea, but I'm sure Ranger Rocky has an awesome plan. Now, now. I don't want any trouble, but I'm going to need that bag. Oh, no you don't. Calm down now. <gasps> Ranger Rocky! <laughs> oh, it's hugging him. Now, it's constricting him. Are you sure you don't need us to do anything, Ranger Rocky? Nope. I have it all under control. Aha! Catch! My bag! Phew, it's all right. It's getting kind of squeezy. Time to get out of here. Be back in a second, Junior Rangers. Oh! Ranger Rocky! Oh, no! Ranger Rocky! Ah! <laughs> Ranger Rocky, you're okay. I sure am. That was amazing. But weren't you scared of the anaconda, Ranger Rocky? It's huge. There was no need to be scared. Anacondas are not out to hurt people. The anaconda was just defending itself. Ranger Rocky is right. We're the ones who entered its home. Well, I've learned my lesson. Never approach or provoke an anaconda when you see one. Always take a tree before you climb it. You never know what's living in there. <laughs> <laughs> Off to shower and bed. <gasps> ah! This glow-in-the-dark tennis set is so cool. Heads up, Katie. <laughs> Katie, Hero, are you okay? I'm fine, but my racket isn't. Oh. We'll have to get it fixed later. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Leo, help! There's a huge spider at my window! Wow, that is huge. Are you okay? I'm fine, but what do I do about it? Let's use the computer to see what species it is. Stay calm and hang tight, Zari. Let's see. It's a golden orb spider. They can grow as big as an adult's hand. The golden orb spider usually lives in rainforests, but they adapt well to urban environments too. Golden orb spiders use venom, which is a kind of poison, to stop their prey from struggling once they've been caught in their web. But no worries, while their bites can hurt, they prefer not to bite humans. So all we need to do is stay away. But it's a bit hard to stay away from it when it's right there. I can't close my window with it hanging there. Don't worry, Zari. We'll help you move it away. Ranger, out. Let's go catch a spider. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo, all set. Woo-hoo! 
Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Sorry, we're here! Where are you? Over here! Why are you hiding? I'm scared! There's nothing to be afraid of. We just have to take it to a safe place in the forest. <gasps> Where's the spider? It could have gone outside. We have to find it and make sure it's safe. Let's go! It's such a big spider! Where could it even hide? There! I think I see it! Oh man, it's just a stain. Maybe it's on the other side of the building. I hear it too, Hero! Whoa! Oh, just a cat. We've searched everywhere. This side of the building, that side of the building, behind walls, inside bushes. Uh, Leo, look behind you. Behind me? Ah! <coughs> I'm fine. This is our chance. Quick, get the spider before it disappears. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I was collecting data for research about spider webs when I ran into one and got stuck in it. We're dealing with a spider, too. We're trying to get it away from here before anyone hurts it. Very noble, Leo. But you might hurt it with your grabber. So how can we get him to safety? Actually, the spider is a she. Female golden orb spiders grow much larger than the males, so it's easy to tell them apart. The strands of their webs are thin, but also very strong. They're even strong enough to catch small birds. What makes this spider's silk unique is its golden color. This is where the golden orb spider gets the golden part of its name from. I trust you junior rangers will make sure the golden orb spider is safe we got it, Ranger Rocky. Good luck, Junior Rangers. So, how will we get the spider back to the forest without hurting it? I have an idea. Careful, and got it. We can use the spider's old web to transport her safely to the forest. Great thinking, Katie. Let's go. Where did the spider go now? She's up there. Jetpack, activate! I got her! Well done, Katie. Now back to the forest. You'll be safe here, Ms. Spider. She's building a new web. I think she likes it. And she's safe from harm. Oh, I think it's time to sleep. Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to get the Golden Orb Spider somewhere safe. Hi, Junior Rangers. You may not see wild animals in your everyday life, but if you ever happen to encounter them, remember these ABCs. A. Avoid contact with the animal. B. Be calm. C. Call an adult to help you. Ranger out. We are here. Wow! Where does this river lead to, Jane? Hmm, I am not sure. Huh? Guys, look! A pink lizard! But lizards aren't pink. Do you think it's sick? What if it has a fever? Let's not jump to conclusions, Leo. <laughs> You're right. Smile! I sent you its photo, Katie. Can you find out more about it? I'm already on it. Oh! It's not your average lizard. It's a panther chameleon. Panther chameleons can change the color of their skin. They can blend in with their surroundings to camouflage themselves. The chameleons mostly change colors to reflect their mood, communicate with other chameleons, and to warm up or cool down. Oh, so it isn't sick after all. It just changed its color to pink. Yep, panther chameleons prefer to live on their own and can get aggressive towards other chameleons invading their home. Males will become more vibrant in color when competing with other males. Hey, 
Hey, it's another chameleon. Uh-oh. <gasps> they both want the same tree. But there are plenty of trees around. What if we host a friendly competition for them? Whoever wins gets the tree fair and square. No fighting. Round one. The chameleon that changes the most colors in one minute wins. May the best chameleon win. Two, one. Time's up. And the winner of round one is the pink, no, red chameleon. Yay! <sighs> it's all right. We'll win the next round. But what's next? Let's see. According to my research, chameleons have eyes that can move in two directions at the same time. Hmm, fascinating. They also have very sticky tongues. Their tongues can be twice as long as their bodies when stretched out to catch insects. Cool. That gives me a tongue-tastic idea. The first chameleon who catches the spider with its long, sticky tongue wins. Three, two, one, go! Come and get it! Over there! Whoa! It's right there! Almost! So close! Yes! Now! Oops! <laughs> to Platypus One. Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus One, activate. <gasps> oh no! Let's split off. Kitty and Hero, you guys go after the red chameleon. Jane, Zumi, and I will follow the blue one. Got it. Jetpack, activate. We got this. for you! Just a little closer. Hello, Junior Rangers! Ranger, Ranger Rocky? What? And what are you guys up to? We're trying to rescue a panther chameleon that fell into the water. Oh dear, they're not known to be strong swimmers. Yes, panther chameleons are great grabbers. They have large toes on their hands and feet, as well as a prehensile tail that helps them cling onto branches. I trust you Rangers to rescue the chameleon. See you around. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Onwards. The red chameleon has to be here somewhere. Do you see it, Hero? Wait for me, Hero. Strange. We followed the river all the way downstream. But where's the blue chameleon? Leo, do you think it might have drowned? Don't worry. I'm sure it's all right. We'll find it. I know we will. Oh, good job, Hero. There you are. You're safe now. There's some driftwood up ahead. Let's see if it's there. Hey, guys. Look who we found. Welcome back. Did you find the blue communion? Nope. But it has to be here somewhere. Let's just continue to look. Got it, Leo. I found it! Oh, false alarm. It's all right. Keep at it, Rangers. Huh? What's wrong? Are you trying to tell me something? <gasps> it's over here! The red chameleon found its buddy! Oh, yeah, I see it. You know, chameleons turn a darker shade when they're stressed out. Aww. There you go. Home sweet home. They are friends now. No more fighting. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs>